Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we will start our new chapter that is called orthographics projection. But before that, let's understand various types of projection system. So let's start. So first of all, what is projection? So projection is nothing but representation of three dimensional object on a two dimensional plane of paper is called a projection. So this is also called a projection. This is also called a projection. This is a three dimensional object which, which is projected on a plane of paper in a 3D. Similar way this is also projected on a plane of paper. Right. So this is called this is also called a projection. Projection is done by extending lines of sight called the projection lines from the eye of the observer through points of an object being viewed to the plane of a projection. So how we can find any projection? By extending the projection line from the eye of observer and through points of an object being viewed. So let's understand various types of a projection system. So there are basically two types of projection system, a perspective projection system and a parallel projection system. Perspective projection system further divided into one point perspective, two point perspective, three point perspective and curvilinear. Again, parallel projection can be divided further into two parts, oblique parallel projection, orthographic parallel projection, right? So again, oblique parallel projection can be divided into cabinet projection, cavalier projection and military projection and orthographic projection further divided into two parts, axonometric projection, axonometric projection divided uh, further is a sub part of a single plane projection and in single plane axonometric projection, there are three types of projection called isometric projection, diametric projection and a triametric projection. In orthographics multi-view projection system, it will be represented in a multiple plane and uh, there are two types of multi-view projection system, sing, uh, first angle projection and third angle projection. So these are the various types of a projection system, right? So today in this video lecture, we will understand perspective projection. So let's see. So first of all, let's understand difference between perspective and parallel projection. So let's say this is the uh, object. We have to draw its uh, uh, drawing onto some plane of paper, right? So let's say this is our object is A, B, C, D. And this is the plane of paper that is called a projection plane. I want to draw this figure, uh, this plane on this projection plane, right? So in perspective projection, a light source or a projection line are emerging from a single point and it will cover the object and our object will be projected on a projection plane. Uh, the size may be larger or smaller than the actual object. We cannot exactly find the true size of the object from the perspective projection, right? So this is called the perspective projection. This yellow line are known as a project projection line and uh, this is called a single point projection or points uh, station point or line of sight. In case of parallel projection, the uh, projection line are parallel to each other and emerging from an infinite light source. So let's say at infinite light source, some projector lines are there. So it will emerging from the infinite light, light source and all the projection line are parallel to each other and it will be projected on our projection plane. So in this case, we will get a true shape and a true size of the object. So this is called a parallel projection, right? So this is called a projection line, yellow line and also known as a line of sight. This is called a point of sight, also known as a station point. Similar way in parallel projection also, these are the projection line or line of sight. And this is called a point sight, 
which will be at a at an infinite distance now let's see what is perspective so one point perspective projection a one point perspective contains only one vanishing point on the horizontal line for example road railway track and building so if you see this figure in this figure you can see this road is vanishing at a single point so this is called a vanishing point where our object vanishes right similar way if you closely observe this this building will also vanish at this point similar way this building will also vanishing at this point so this is called a one point perspective projection right similar way two point perspective projection has a two vanishing point also known as a angular perspective so you can see in this figure this this road will emerge uh, will vanish at this single point and in the same figure this road will vanish at this point similar with this side of the house will also vanishing at this point and this side of house will vanish at this point so this is called a two point perspective projection next is a three point perspective projection so it will have a three vanishing point right the example is given in this figure you can see the three dimensional building right so it it has a three vanishing point this edge of the building all these edges are vanishing at this point similar way all these edges are vanishing at this point and all these edges perpendicular edges are vanishing at this point so it is very difficult to visualize and draw this uh, three point uh, perspective projection so ideally it will not it, it is not used in the practice another is a curvilinear projection curvilinear perspective projection so instead of this a straight line it uses the curving perspective lines right uh, converging once to approximate the image on the retina of the eye so you can see our eye has a spherical shape right so it, it is a curve when we see any object so it will exactly replicate this curvilinear perspective projection on our retina which is itself a spherical more accurate than the traditional linear perspective which uses a straight line and gets very strangely distorted at the edges it uses either four five or more vanishing points curvilinear perspective how we can image in the curvilinear perspective so imagine yourself standing in a front of the very long brick wall the wall extends far to your left and far to your right so let's consider an infinite wall on the right and left side of your uh, of yourself now imagine yourself looking to the left see how the wall is rendered so if you see the left side of the wall you can see this kind of pictures you can visualize this kind of pictures same way now imagine the um, right side of the wall you can see this kind of rendering image uh, wall is rendered this in this fashion let's try to connect these two views at the same time so you can find this kind of images in your mind right and look at the wall near the center you can visualize the curvilinear perspective now if, if you if you can see the wall near the center you can visualize the curvilinear perspective so this way a curvilinear perspective will work it is more realistic compared to the other three types of perspective again these are also the types of perspective we just discussed one point two point and three point and this is called a curvilinear perspective now here is a quick task for you identify which type of perspective it is there are two figures are there identify in figure number 1 which type of perspective projection is used and in figure number 2 which type of perspective projection is used i hope you understand the type of projection and uh, various types of perspective projection if you have watched this video until this do like share and subscribe and hit the bell icon for latest notification we'll see you in the next video till then goodbye